Okay, so this problem is asking us to find the critical numbers in absolute extrema. Here's our function, that's a 12 times, that is the cube root of x squared minus 8x, and then here is the interval negative 1 to 2. For this process, first thing you have to do is find the first derivative. Now before I do that, let me first rewrite this to make it easier to use with the power rule. This is going to be 12x and then it's always the inside divided by the index. So this is x to the two-thirds power. So 12x to the two-thirds minus 8x. So writing it that way, it'll be easier to do the derivative. Okay, so now we're going to apply the power rule. Two-thirds multiplies by the 12. You're going to get 8x Subtract one from the power, you get negative one-third, and then minus eight. Derivative of eight of eight x is just eight. We can rewrite this. That's eight over x to the one-third and then minus eight. Okay, so two ways that we find critical numbers. The first thing is, if there's any number on this interval from negative one to two, any x value that makes the derivative undefined, that's a critical number. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the critical numbers up here. Critical numbers. Okay, I notice that 0 will make the derivative undefined. So that is going to be one of my critical numbers. Because 0 is also defined on the original one. If I plug 0 into here, then I'll get 0. So that is also a critical number. Critical numbers have to be defined on the original one, which it is. If I plug zero in there, it's, I get a, a y value, but zero will make this undefined because I'm dividing by zero. So that's one of my first critical numbers. The other way to find critical numbers is if you take this and set it equal to zero. So zero equals eight over x to the one third and then minus eight. I wanna solve for this. So eight, over x to the one-third, I can set this equal to 8. I'm going to add the 8 over the other side. And I'm going to do some cross-multiplying here. I can write that as 8 over 1. If I cross-multiply, I get 8x to the one-third equals 8. Divide both sides by 8. I'll get x to the one-third equals 1. You would cube both sides because this is a one-third. If you cube it, you'll be able to get rid of that power and you'll get x is equal to 1, and that's the only other value that I find here. So now my critical numbers are both 0 and 1, so those are critical numbers. To find this answer here, I have to put this information on a table. i got to use my original critical numbers and also my endpoints. So here's my x and f of x table. Okay, I'll start with the left endpoint, negative 1. Then I'm going to put in my critical numbers, 0 and 1, and then also I'll put in 2. These I need to put into the, again, you're always using original function, put these back into here. You can use a, a graphing calculator if you want to or do them by hand. I'll just go ahead and give you the uh, values for each of those. Okay, so at negative 1 you'll get 20, and then 0, 4, and then 3.05 you'll get as a decimal. So in order to answer this, you look at the highest y value and the lowest y value and you're going to fill those in here. The absolute max is going to occur at the highest y value. Absolute max is going to be 20 and that's going to occur at x is equal to negative 1. The lowest y value you see on this table here is 0. So the absolute min is 0 and that's going to occur at 0 because that goes to that point uh, zero, zero.